Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome here for the first time. Hope you stick around, hope you subscribe and just join our little Cockney Craft family. So, what I'm doing today, I'm working with a CD case, um, envelope rather. Um, they're normally like this, I can't find where the plain white ones are that I've got sent in Happy now. Um, I've looked with the other envelopes where this was and where I thought it would be and where I got this one from out from earlier but I can't remember it's been a really hectic day <laughs> I've been setting up my new phone so yeah this is like your standard CD envelope this is the exact same thing but I've been I've unstuck it as best I could um, it left this side a bit frayed and that so I've reinforced it there with washi and as we all know when you get things wet especially paper this thin it does start to be um, more fragile and you'll get bits coming away which I've got here so I've um, put some strong glue on that washi burnished it right down so that now that fold won't be weak but what I was thinking because this is going to be a pocket and that and things going in and out I've dyed it so much as you can see I went in with loads of different dyes I've been going a bit mental um, the last couple of days just dyeing loads of stuff getting ready for the journals I'm working on and um, I wanted the colours to be really crazy so this has been dyed then I've let it dry then I've gone back in with some different colour if it's not been bright enough or if it's not been the the effects that I wanted so I've been going in letting it dry in the sun which takes like seconds well at the most minutes like 10 minutes something like that it's bone dry because it's thin and because it's so hot here at the minute it's boiling hot now and it's late at night now and when i'm filming it's the first bit of quiet and that i've got today so yeah i've been doing like this and i thought this is going in a journal i would hate to think someone's putting the um journaling card in there one or two times and it starts to give and fall apart that is not what i want so what i thought was i've got out my round dies right now this is the biggest circle i've got and it comes just inside like that so i thought because i'm going to put another bit of plastic there from the bit i took out so that we've got like a window i thought if i cut this to size and then cut a circle it'll be like there's a gold frame in there um and it'll be this with the old cut out glued right down and fit in the exact size so that when anything's going in and out it's got to come past like this is what's got to take the strain and not this because I think after a couple of times like I said I think it would just weaken and tear and I don't that so I also had acetate right I don't know what's going on I can't find nothing today I'm having one of them days found this bit which is pretty much the perfect size I've got to trim it a bit but it's hazy look can you see it's not um it's not crystal clear so I do save things like these bags that the document wallets come in that I put different kits in and that I've got a big stack of these all full of Amy's <laughs> Amy's ones all labelled and that so yeah I keep these so I'm thinking rather than have the hazy window which probably will be nice I probably will end up using it somewhere but on this one I'm not I'm going to cut out a bit of this to size anywho not that yet what I need to do is get this card the exact size of my pocket so pencil let's grab it and so yeah now I can calm down breathe <laughs> <laughs> I haven't stopped to like explaining and being a bit too <clears throat> but yeah we all know I go like that sometimes so <laughs> just bear with me I think it's the joys of being bipolar 
<laughs> anyway, I hope you're all well, loves. I um, I went to the beach. Was it yesterday? Oh, it might have been the day before. I've lost track. Um, what day are we? I, I think it was the day before yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I went to the beach. It was glorious. I went with my daughter and my niece. She's like another daughter. She's like a third daughter. And um, the children, like both their children. And um, it's like 10 minutes away. And we went, we took the kids in the fun fair, which is really good. Like there's another bigger beach, probably a bit nicer. Like that's about half an hour away. And they've got a fun fair, and it's ridiculously priced, like for a wristband for little kids, it's like 20 quid. Well, the little quiet beach, it's not like quiet, it's quite busy actually, but um, the beach where we often go, they've got a little kids um, fun fair, and it's only a fiver a wristband, and it's brilliant. All the rides are like the right age group for our kids. And, um, yeah, oh, they had a whale of a time. It was so fun. It was lovely seeing them playing. I was taking loads of photos. I was filming. And then I got my um, phone stolen from me while we was on the beach. Like, we've got toddlers. So we was watching them, running after them. The older two, that are only three and five, wanted to paddle. So we was in and out of the water and stuff, just sticking our toes in, because it's, it's not it's not like the ocean, it's not like brilliant, lovely water. <laughs> it's just the Thames estuary. But, um, yeah, um, I, like the donut that I am, I just put my bag down on my blanket and I'm wandering around and everything like that. And then I come back to the blanket. The girls was there, but they are watching the kids, the little ones, and helping them dig holes and make sandcastles and things. And um, when, then we noticed that my purse was just like, my, my bag was open on the blanket and my purse was hanging right out of it and I was like, no, look at that. I, I ended up getting robbed, wouldn't I? I'm so silly. And then we, um, I went to put it back in my bag and I thought, oh, I can't find my phone. You know what it's like when you're like that, man. And then I'm checking the other pockets and that. And yeah, I'd had my phone stolen. So that, we had a wonderful day, right? And no thief or idiot is going to spoil my day you know because the kids loved it and we loved it it was gorgeous it was such a chill and fun time but i took loads of photos and videos if you remember me saying and that part of it broke my heart because i can't get them back now can i so yeah that was a bit um Devastating, <laughs> not devastating, that, that's just being dramatic. Um, disappointing, let's say, very disappointing, because I've got some lovely, lovely pictures of the girls with their kids and that. Some beautiful video of the um, kids playing on the trampolines, bouncing and holding each other's hands and, yeah, just beautiful beautiful videos and yeah some really really lovely photographs of the girls with their kids all smiling looking vibrant they're in the sun they've got the sun on their faces and i can't get them back we ended up getting through we kept ringing it and ringing it right so yeah i'll quickly explain i've turned this inside out as you can see so and I've done a circle thinking I could try and like centre this bit. It keeps looking off. But I'm just going to put it where... Hang on, let me turn it around a bit. So I can just see if I'm getting a kind of... Getting it kind of in the middle. I think that's going to be the best I can get. Right. And I moved it. <laughs> right, it's going to be fine. It ain't got to be pitch perfect, does it? So yeah, round about there. So anyway, that was just to get it in the right place. And now we can put it back. And it does feel really delicate where I've 
put so much dye on, dye on, dye. So yeah, anyway, we got through to the people on the phone last night thinking, great, someone's finally answered it when they got home, whenever it was, last night on the night call. And yeah, great, this is amazing, they're going to give it back to us. And then they just started shouting racist things down the phone and sexual nastiness, like just horrid, really, really horrible. And so we thought, they're never going to give it back, are they, you know? They were just being horrible. I'm just putting this in my big shot now um, to cut out this circle. And so, yeah, they, um, I, th then my son phoned my phone um, company, like my um, service provider and they blocked the sim and blocked the phone so it can never be used and we did try and say we was about to do that and could they just let us have it back and they was just shouting and messing about they didn't care really it weren't for they didn't care about whether the phone was going to work or not they just did it i suppose for the buzz of being naughty or something i don't know but yeah they've been really horrible down the phone so um yeah, we got it all blocked and that, and then I ordered a new one um, online last night, and it came today. Right, so look, that's going to sit in there, and yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm going to go in and go all around here with some gold. Um, I have got ink, but I could use this as well, and let me get prepared and get a wet wipe ready. So yeah. Today, I've been trying to, your phone come last night, and I've been trying to sort of work it out <laughs> pretty much all day. Me and tech ain't really that good mates, and me and phones ain't, because if you remember, was it last week or the week before, I dropped my phone in the sink full of hand washing that I was doing, um, and yeah, made it not work anymore. And so, um, I got like a second hand one, that was last week wasn't it, I ain't even paid for that phone yet, not paid for it, and um, yeah, then I got it nicked, so I've had to, had to get a new one, and um, so at the moment I'll be paying for two phones, this weren't really a good idea. <laughs> right, I should have just gone in with ink, what I'm used to, shouldn't I? Instead of trying to do something that I'm not used to. Right. Oh, sorry, I better get back on camera. I was holding it right up to my face. <laughs> I'm just trying to go around with this Gilders polish. Still got a bit of my finger there, that's it. Right. I've gone round all the white and now I'm just going to wipe off when I've got it and I don't need it or want it. And wipe off there so I don't start getting it everywhere. Right. And no, there's none of it. Right, and I'm just going to grab a cloth or something to dry that off and then buff it so that I've not got all streaks. Right, so yeah, that was... Um, that was me. I, I'm paying for two phones now because I've I've got one, and I ain't paid for it, and I've got it nicked. But I should have been more careful, shouldn't I? So today, like when my phone came, so did it come today or last night? I think it came last night. Yeah, but um, I had to get my son to help me because I don't know what I'm doing, you know, with phones. I've got, they don't really interest me, you know, so I've never really learned how to do it all. So, yeah, my son was doing it all for me, and when I ordered it, it came, and then today, yeah, because that was last night it came, my son said, don't use it, let me set up all the things you need. He said, but don't use it, because you'll drop it and break it. Wait till the case comes. So I've got a case, I've got a glass screen protector, and also, for when I'm out and about, I've got myself one of these things that you strap on your arm and you've got a little bit in there for money <laughs> ain't it ugly i might have to zhuzh it up a bit because that is 
one ugly thing, ain't it? They could make them pretty, couldn't they? But yeah, there weren't no choices of anything nice and pretty. So yeah, <laughs> that might be a video, might it? Zhuzhing up your phone thingy. But yeah, I thought if I get that, and then when I'm on the beach next week, because if, if the weather stays like this, which it's supposed to, then I'll be going to the beach again. And so I thought I can have it strapped on my arm. And then if I'm paddling with the kids, or lining up for a put them on a ride or whatever, buying ice cream. It's not going to be laying around. I might not even take an handbag. I might take a bag with like my blanket that I take, my beach blanket and stuff like that. And um, yeah, just have that on my arm with my money and all that shizzle because <laughs> then no one can nick it anything off me, can they? But it's, do you know what it is? It's because I think everyone is like me, and I would never steal off of someone. So I just think everyone is nice. <laughs> and I've been lulled into a false sense of security, really, because I come on here, and all you lot are really nice. And so you forget that out in the big bad world, <laughs> when you ain't on lockdown, and there's people out there that are just nasty for the sake of being nasty you know and um yeah i don't I, I just don't understand why that's fun you know to be horrible but nothing like we wasn't hurt it wasn't a a, a theft where someone attacked you or something like that it was just taken from my bag because i wasn't being security aware you know i was silly it's my my fault really i was silly i left my handbag unattended while i was messing about with the children you know and the girls couldn't be watching it because they're watching little toddlers and i was with the bigger two so yeah it um i've learned a lesson really right so that is in place and so now, if anything's going in and out, that's going to take the strain, isn't it? Nothing's going to be touching this. Um, and we want to attach this. Oh, I should have waited to attach that. Because I want to do some bits getting it blingy. Mm, I might. I'll just have to be careful, won't I, and avoid that bit. Right, where's the stencils? Right. Because I want to do a little bit of blinginess. So, yes, yeah, I've learnt not to, um, not to um, forget that not everybody is nice. So, do you know what I mean? It's a horrible thing to say, but there are a lot of people out there who just ain't very nice, aren't they? Right. See what I want to have some of these coming up round here. And yeah, I might unpeel that again. Oh, I know I've really stuck it down well. <laughs> it's really well stuck. Oh, I oh know. That's why we have these. We keep them, don't we, for a little mask. Right. Hang on. I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to cut another one out. Right. So I've got another one. Like I said, this is the biggest size I've got. So I've cut another one out for another, to do another one. So if I put them like that, they'll act as a mask, wouldn't they? And I'll have to tape them, oh, which I didn't want to do, because it, um, sometimes, like if I put the tape on this very weak CD case, It'll probably tear it. I, I've just had a fault. I don't know if this is going to work, but bear with me. Magnetic stamping platform. Instead of trying to tape, tape things down, we'll go on the platform and I'll magnet them down. And then we'll do our thingy bobbing that, our stuff on here. Right, let's turn it around so we've got a bit more space. I want to be up that way so that I don't confuse myself. Right, so I'm poking that one like that and that one like that just to mask the area. Oh. And yeah, it's 
I wish I had a bigger round thing, but I haven't, right. And I've got to be careful not to keep poking. Right. Will that hold? Right. That should be okay. It ain't got to be perfect. Right, and what I wanted to do is just go with some hearts, maybe, round the side a bit like that. I think that might look nice. So, I need another couple of magnets to keep that down. And I'm just going to grab them. I know this is going a bit, <laughs> where the hell is she going? But yeah, I'm going to try and do that. And so, yeah, I want a couple more magnets just to keep everything safe. Right, I've got some magnets. Right, let's see if these will hold that in place. And then I'll use the bigger ones for the stencil. Hopefully this will work. Right, I'm on there. And one up here. That's it, and then I'm gonna oh I want one underneath. Like that, that's it, that'll do. Oh <laughs> they're so strong. Right, I'm gonna stick them over there. Oh right, and now I need to wet this a little bit, so I've got some spray. I'll just wet it a little bit. That's it. And then, right. Oh, we don't need a lot on there. I'm going to make a right mess on my stamping platform but it'll all come off right so we've got some on the sponge we've got our mask oh i'm scared <laughs> come on don't be silly It's a mess and it? it's terrible and I'm going to have to do the other side still while I'm trying to get all of this terribleness but uh, we, what we want to know is if it works or not. Yep. It looks like it. Oh, I've got a magnet there but it's, that's a clean one. Sorry, the reveal is a bit slow <laughs> because I'm don't want the um, gilding polish to go anywhere else that I don't want, which it seems at the minute. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. Oh no, look, that did mask idea did work. So this is what we've got. When that dries down, that's going to look lovely. I'm going to do some more around here. Not loads. I think I've done too many around that size. Um. I want to kind of space them out a bit. Right, and I've got a dodgy bit there. So, I'll just clean this off and then we'll do the other. Right, so we've got a clean-ish um, stencil. It's almost clean. Right, and I've got a couple of grubby bits there. Right. Okay, so, we've got our little masks that worked out pretty well didn't they i was pleased with that i didn't think i would end up pulling that off but we did so yeah let's give ourselves a little pat on the back for that <laughs> for once something went to plan but yeah so um i wanted to film earlier but i've been trying to um i've been trying to get um bits and bobs on my phone sorted out and um, guess what I've done I sent out a text right saying my phone was stolen this is a new number blah 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 I didn't say who it was from 
so afterwards I got um, <laughs> a load of texts saying, who is this? And I thought, oh, what a, do what a donut. Right, so I said I want you to be a little bit spaced out more, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, but this is the one where it was a little bit dodgy from the, the um, stencil just now. So I'll go over that. Um, right, I'll just try... I'll try and... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it while I'm doing it with this. And I have done it with my finger before. And the results ain't as good. So, right. Coming down here. Ooh. Right, I'm going to put a little tiny bit on my finger to get that heart there. And that one. Right. And then... Right. And I wonder, no, I'm going to see what that looks like first, before I do anything else. Mm. Mm, yeah, see, when, when you do it with the finger, it's not as good. So now, now I think it looks weird that I've got a gap. Oh no, we'll have a bit of something there, like a bit of trim or something like that. A bit of bling we'll have there. So I think that is what I'm going to do. So let's grab that up. Oh, right. Okay, so once that dries off a bit, that is what it's going to look like, which is rather nice. Um... Yeah, and that bit is going to be down, I think. I did want to kind of leave that bit up. But then I think I might have to reinforce that as well, won't I? You know, because things are going to be going in and out. But, um, mm, I'm going to see if I can dry this off. Because normally I'll just do it and leave it. It does dry pretty quickly. I don't know if heat tool will dry it or make it. I don't know. I've never used a heat tool to dry Gilda's polish. So, I'm not sure if it does it. So, <laughs> I should go live, shouldn't I? And then you would be able to tell me as I'm going along what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. oh! Right, I'm going to go and wash this and I'll show B2 ticks. Right, here we are. That came out nice and clean. So, I'll pop that over there. And, um, oh, I just opened that and put it right on top of my, <laughs> my CD case, right, which is here. So, I just need to get this dry. So, I am going to have a little try with my heat tool and then touch it and see if it's tacky or if it's dry. Right, that is now bone dry, which is good. So, that is going to be that. I just need to cut out a square from this bag so let's grab that over here just so I know what size roughly that I need right, right. it hasn't got to be perfect because it's going to be stuck right down nice and tightly I'll cut it better once I've got it up here, right. Mm -hmm. So something like that. And I know this is terrible because you can't see it. But it <laughs> this is where it's at. Right, so we've got it there and there. The sh um, I'll need a bit off. Right, so I just need... Um, down here. Right. And then, across the bottom. Right. And so that that ain't all flapping and everything, I've cut out another circle, although I don't know if 
lining it up and all that is going to be a pain but I thought it would be better now lining it up ain't going to be a pain is it see it's that same size and then I'll stick it to this and then put stick it down yeah that's what I'm doing right so now I can see I do need that's on that corner and that's there I need a little sliver off this edge Right, and I think that's going to be fine, so I'm going to glue it on, and then it just reinforces it all, don't it? Makes it so that it's not weak, you haven't got to worry about going in and out because I do love getting the paper really wet and then getting the colour down, spraying it so that it spreads and so that it. Um, just looking for the lid that I just took off. There it is. Yeah, getting it all nice and wet and everything, so that the um, colours run into one another and that. And then once I've done that, I do sometimes go back in once it's dry and get more colour on. You know, I'll probably show you in a minute some of the bits I've been working on. And um. Yeah, I do love the results, but as I said, it does weaken the paper really badly. But we're overcoming that because, yeah, I wouldn't like to think it goes to its new home and then just tears and ain't good anymore. So, yeah, we'll just get that stuck nicely. I'll check it from out here. Yeah, that's all right. And then we can make it back into its little envelope how it was supposed to be. And yeah, I'm really not sure whether to cut that off. I think I'm going to have to because although it does look cool, but like part of it, it's going to really be weak in it compared to the rest. So I'm just going to grab my big cutter and just line up that crease with the blade. Right, let's see, yeah, that's on there and that's on there. Right, I might even stick that to the page or something. Like, obviously, I've gone a bit weird with me um, hearts, so I could turn that over. And, yeah, maybe stick it on the page where this is a pocket, just so that it's... Um, I don't know, so it looks like that, maybe, I don't know, I think probably not, <laughs> now I've thought about it, I'm thinking no, but this is a nice strong pocket now, and so we can make a nice, um, a nice tag to go inside, maybe using one of them circles that I cut out, I think that might be fun. Uh, or a window tag so that there's something in the acetate but you can still see right through to this um, pattern on the back maybe that's a plan we'll have to have a little think about that but for the moment let's get a bit of something make sure we ain't stuck <laughs> ain't stuck it together that's it so we've got a nice strong pocket now that's not going to fall apart as you're putting things in and out but it needs shushing up a bit I want to ink around but I'm not going to go with more gold I'm gonna just grab some colour now and um, ink around let's see oh yeah got a nice bright pink love it Right, and I've got a little rubber, and I'm just going to go all around the outside with this really, really bright pink. 
proper, was it pipped raspberry, I would have called it like sort of, it's like, remember in the 80s, the pink lipsticks that there were, everyone seemed to have, oh that was awful, <laughs> really bad, but yeah, a lot of people was wearing this colour light lipstick pink, bubblegum pink kind of, isn't it, like, but yeah. With um, gym blue eyeshadow or blue and pink eyeshadow. <laughs> oh, the eighties, the eighties, man. They've got a lot to answer for. Okay, so that's all nice and pink round, and I want some trim down here. And I did say maybe like a little b bit of bling around there, but I do like how that is looking. Right, I've got some unusual pom pom trim that I'm gonna use down the bottom there making sure that that is the bottom yeah that's the that's our pocket <laughs> oh it's hard to tell on it with these cases but yeah that is definitely our pocket and um yeah with this hot weather it's been a, it feels too hot to do anything um at the minute it was cool at the beach because it always is in it because you've got the breeze coming off the um sea so um yeah, it was cool at the beach. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> the temperature it was saying like was hot, but yeah, you feel cooler, don't you? I keep saying to my daughter since I got back, even though I did end up being robbed and whatnot. I, I said, so, what, what time are we going next week? What time are we going next week? <laughs> and then I spoke to my cousin, and she's having her grandkids one day next week. And she was like, I'll meet you at Canvey. And so yeah, we're going down the beach next week. Right, so I like them there. And we want something coming up the side, maybe. And then we'll do our tag. Look what I found in the scraps. This little flower, it's absolutely gorgeous. and um, But it's difficult to use, isn't it? When you get some, like, scraps. Um, like, you know, when you buy them. Like, some people sell... Um, bundles for junk journals but then they have a weird shape and you, it's difficult to use them so I'm just going to try and do my best at fraying this um, and yeah we'll just try and get a little frayed square or a little frayed shape <laughs> right. mm. oh I don't have to trim that I don't want to lose anything right. So we've got our little, whoa, and then it sticks to you. <laughs> right, we've got our little flower like that. I think that is really cool. And I'm thinking I'm going to have a couple of leaves. I'm not going all the way up. I'm just going to go from behind to into there to fill that blank space. And right. I'm just going to go there like that, so I'll come down here, probably won't even need this much, um, this long, oh that looks nice though, just coming off and curling, if I can get it to curl round like that, I'm sure we can manoeuvre it, manipulate it, whatever it is, <laughs> beg it, <laughs> Just to bend around, that's it. Coming off a bit, I think that looks nice. So yeah, just get a bit of glue on here. And I'm gonna pop our flower on our bit of orange fabric like that. Just pop it on top. I'm gonna trim some of the frayed bit though. Um, and get more fraying at the bottom. Right, I think that's that's as much as I'm gonna get. Um and yeah, I'm gonna have it just poking over our window. Or am I or am I gonna go here and cut that bit off? I think I might do that. Right. <laughs> cut that last bit off and we'll have it coming under here. Because I didn't want it poking out from behind, I want it coming up from behind right go away right so we get that stuck on i'll just use a little bit of glue um i don't look bleeding through and like that so just the frayed bit is going over our window 
and um, yeah, that's cool little little the little shape in tiny tiny little sequins. It's wicked. Right, so I'm loving that. And now I was going to use one of these, but onto a square, and then I'm going to cut out. Right, so what's the best one maybe? This one's not as dented. Right, I'm just going to grab my big shot and I'm going to cut a heart out because then it'll tie in with these hearts that we've got around here in the gilders wax. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. Right, disappointingly, the hearts I've got, right, a long, thin ones. They're not, they're coming off at the end, right, so they're no good, right. Um, and then... See, I wanted kind of that kind of shape top, but obviously bigger, right? So what I thought was, I've got smaller ones, like the one I showed you. I thought if I cut out littler ones here and there, you know, so we'll be able to see through this part of the tag. Um, and yeah, it'll have little arts cut out. Um. Yeah, hopefully it'll look alright. Not really sure. I'm going with it though. I'm going to be daring. Right, but what I need to do, I've had some um, issues some earlier cutting out with um, Olivia wanted to make her mum a card while her mum was out. So um, we was doing that and uh, we kept, even though I was putting the tape on my hand first and it's washy, it hardly ever sticks to anything. It um, it kept making things come off and it was really annoying. Like, making little scrapes as we pulled them off. And I was being really, really careful. And she's only gentle as well because she's a tiny little tot. So I thought, no, I'll turn this over. And if it takes anything off, it'll just be taking it off the back, won't it? So let's see how this turns out. Right, we've got them cut out. And I'm sure I can use these somewhere, maybe around the um, border that's going to be square of the tag going in. So, right, get that little heart popped out. And that one. I'll pop them there, they're nice little hearts. And so, right, this is our part of our tag, and we need a square. So, I'm just going to have a look for some card that we can insert this into. Right, I'm going to use a bit of this, and I'm going to have to cut an off, but because this is my biggest die, right, so I suppose I could go one smaller and insert this. I think I'll have to do that. Or the only other option would be to cut it the exact same size and then tape it inside and then put another piece with the hole in and glue that to that, you know, so that it's fitting bang in the middle. I'll try it both ways probably and we'll see what works best. Right, I've got two squares the exact same size, so instead of doing that fiddly bit of trying to cut one the same size and then I've got to tape it inside, hoping that once I stick it, this one, over the tape, it'll hold it in place. I don't think it will going in and out, so I'm going to go one smaller than this so that um, it's held in properly. So. Here I go with the two pieces. I'm going to do them both at the same time so I get it in the exact same place. So I'll just pop a little bit of washi. Actually, I'm going to trim, while I'm there, I'll trim a little tiny sliver off of there. Oh, it might just be where I was holding it wrong. Yeah, I'm going to stick them together, cut the hole, and then we'll go with it. Right, got my circles cut. And I'm going to ink around. And, yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out. It was just, I just fancied that even when the tag is in the pocket, that you'd just see a little bit of this effect that I've got. And, um, yeah, I've, 
I've had some really cool effects over the last couple of days because the quicker that this um, paper dries, whether it's when you're tea and coffee dyeing or when you're dyeing with alcohol inks and that, if, if it's really hot day, dry it outside because then it dries like within seconds so it doesn't have a chance to see i don't sound weird but it doesn't fade so much because like it's there and then boom once it was wet now it's dry you know so wherever you've sprayed to get like a technique like i say here i sprayed like um there was some pink and i sprayed blue into it and then i got the water and i was spraying to kind of like make it bleed out you know um like you can see what i've done here you can see there's the blue and this was actually pink before this is green with pink and so yeah i was doing all of that and um i just want to be able to see just these little tiny bits you know through the owls so we'll try if it don't work it don't work you know but you never know till you try do you right that looks really wonky anyway i think i'm gonna have to take a sliver off of yeah that side because it don't have to um, be the exact same size as inside of the pocket I'd rather it was um, what do you call it symmetrical a bit right maybe about there we'll just go with it that's a little bit better. <laughs> I might have took a bit too much off. It don't matter. It don't, does it? Let's chill out. It was like my phone, like the um I was talking to my cousins and they was like, Oh no, that it ruined your day. I said, You know what? It didn't. I said, we had such a lovely day that that one instant I said straight off off the bat this is not ruining how lovely this day has been you know don't get stressed over it so what it's a phone you know like i said the worst thing for me was i took some proper really good pictures i'm rubbish at taking pictures because my hands shake too much and that but i was just clicking 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 because i thought the more i take i'm bound to get um I didn't think of that, the back of the thing. Right, I'm going to rub um, the line out. And then I'm just going to go over all the back with um, this distress oxide. Because I didn't think about the back of the tag having an hole in. What a wally! Because normally, I'd back it with a solid back, you know. But um, I wanted to be able to see through it, didn't I? So we weren't doing that. But yeah, hang on, I just, I don't want bits of the eraser in my little love art. Right, these ain't the best rubbers as well. I sh I'll get out a pop of rubber. These are just for show really, aren't they, my little sea creatures. They're not really ones that are any good. These ones are normally good, but I don't know about with this pencil. And um, yeah. So I said to the kids, don't get stressed out. I'm not that when we did ring them back, like it was a bit annoying when I was trying to say, look, it's going to be no good for you. Um, we're just about to ring the provider and get it all locked and that, you know. So it'll be useless. Do you want to? Do you want to just give it back? And they were swearing and saying really, really rude stuff, really, really racist stuff. I just hung up. I was like, no, not, not out listening not letting them get the fun out of being horrible i don't know Where's, i don't know what's gone wrong with like they sounded like they were teenagers like what's gone wrong where they think that being horrible is a really fun and good thing to do <laughs> something's really wrong in it but yeah so i said to kids no that's it just ring up get it blocked and that get everything locked they can't use it they can't get into any of my stuff buy things <laughs> with one click on amazon and things like we, like we do and that so yes got it all locked up and then i said it's not worth my day we had a wonderful time we really did have a good time so even though i'd lost the um what's it called 
the um, photographs and the videos didn't lose the memories, did I? We still remember all what happened all day long, how much the kids laughed, how much they loved it when the water was coming in, the waves was splashing their little tootsies. It, um, yeah, it was lovely. Oh, they actually found a little crab in the water and picked it up. And um, that was really fascinating for them as well. Um, Flory had seen them before, my little great niece. But um, Olivia had never seen one re in real life, you know. <laughs> she was absolutely fascinated. And I was like, right, now you've had a little look. Let's put, her, let's put him back. He's your new little friend, but he's got to go back. <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the sea. But yeah, they absolutely loved it. Right, now, so I've got this shape now. Let's see, did it work? Does it even fit? That's another thing. Mm. I might have to take a sliver off. Oh, no, it does. It, I'm just having a little bit of... A little bit of trouble going in there. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted. I am going to have to take a little bit off. But look, we can see through the hearts and see the um, effect going on at the back. I'm going to take a sliver off this side. And I'm going to take some off at the bottom. Because I think I've actually done this upside down. So... <laughs> it's just, I wanted the leaves going that way. But I think I measured it so that it would have been going up the other way. But that don't matter. That does not matter. Right. A bit more rough. I just need to hold it up a sec to see if I, it's actually straight. No, that's not right, that is. And, right, get this side a little bit neater. Oh, sorry for that squeak. Oh, no, I've ruined it. I took it. It slid back up again. Well, I've not ruined it. I've just got to take a bit more off. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that bit's going terrible now. So, let's just go along with the scissors there. Boom. Right. And I just need to take a sliver now off of this side to even it up a bit. Oh. Right. And I want it a bit off the bottom. A fair bit, really. Okay, so there we've got our little tag. That's much better. It's going to be much easier going in and out. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I love that. Right, that's the back. But I love the pink. And the front is with the gold. Right, I really like that. So I've got to put a little tab at the top. And I need to ink all around. Oh, I don't know if to make it actual tag shaped. Actually, I think I might. I think I might make it into a tag. Okay, so nice big ones. Let's get this one. There we are. Right one. And two, and um, right. Oops, sorry, that was a big clunk for the scissors. <laughs> I put them down really aggressively. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, um, I've got a pop into um, the bank again, right? Because last week I went in the bank with Jamie. And I got them to set up my telephone banking on the, the new phone that I got last week. Um, <laughs> because you can do it yourself. But I get really confused with all of that. And I, I, it was asking me questions that I didn't know what I was... I didn't know what I was doing. So I thought, it's easier to go in there. They set it up originally. And so I thought, if I pop in there... They can only say no, you know, if they don't do that. I went in there, they were brilliant. They set up my mobile banking like that. Um, and yeah, now I've got to go back. Only a week later. <laughs> I was like, you know you did last week. It was really, really helpful. But can you do it again? 
Oh, I've got a bit of glue there that I really don't want, so I'm grabbing the little hearts. And I wanted to do this anyway, didn't I? Just pop in one or two that we cut out. Probably won't use this one. Oh, I might on where I have my tab. Yeah, right. So I'm just going to pop these to one side. I'm not going to use them yet. And I'm going to quickly wipe this because I think I'm getting glue or ink smudging from there, which I didn't want. Right, so that's done. I need a little bit of trim and I've got 101 scraps here that I really need to start getting down so I'm just going to rummage a second in this like box of doom right this is quite cute with the little tiny sequins um, still on there um, so I thought just gather it a little bit like smush there but come down a bit so that even if I put a heart over it you'll still see that little sequence so I'm just going to smush lightly on one side oh I'm to come down to there so that that sequin and that frayed bit is like that and then we've got a little bit of smushing going on uh, here oh. Oh. and I want it to stick to the tag and not me <laughs> right like that sorry <laughs> someone's coming down the stairs and I'm like Harry Potter I'm under the stairs but I, I, I'm not in a, a shut cupboard. <laughs> I'm next to the cupboard. I'm in my dining room. But yeah, the, the um, stairs, under the stairs, like the corner bit here, that's where I'm sitting right now. I've got my little desk that folds, folds down against the wall and looks just like a shelf or something if we've got visitors coming and we need the dining table. But... To be honest, that's really rare. <laughs> it don't happen a lot. And until this, we had a lockdown malarkey. I was often just in here on my own, you know. And just got your own space, and you know, your own little place where you work and that. And so, um, yeah, even though I did lose my own room, my craft, craft room, it, I like made a space as soon as I could, like here, and had to buy different storage and everything, so it wasn't all. A lot of my storage from my old room was like having things quite on show, um, making the pieces that was um, that was just stuff into like kind of made it part of the decor, you know. Um, but yeah, you can't do that in the, well, you could do it in the dining room, but I didn't want to have it like that because it would have made it always look like it was a mess. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I didn't, um, I didn't do that. But, um, yeah, until lockdown, a lot of the time I was just in on my own. And, um, yeah, I don't really do entertaining. <laughs> I do it at Christmas time and that, but, um, yeah. I like a little bit of quiet and getting on with stuff. But yeah, ever since ever since life changed dramatically with COVID, I seem to have to like wait until right like, late at night to get a spare moment. But right, I kind of like that. We can still see the bits through, which is kind of cool. And um, yeah, we can either have it that way, or we can have it a bit pinkified, bubblegum pink, and have it round that way. But um, I like the gold best. And then it's all nice and reinforced. The bit that probably would be weak is going to be glued right down nice and firm onto a page. And then we're not going to have no worries about taking things in and out. So yeah, I hope you liked that. I, um, I'm going to do more with some of these papers that I've been doing this week out in the sun. Because... Um, 
you know me, I love a bit of colour, don't I? I love a bit of going mental. And, um, yeah, my, the, some of the pages that I've got oh, have come out wicked. They really have. I, I did want to, I nearly got one out to use to make this tag, but I couldn't bear to cut it just yet. I thought, oh, no, that's too good. I'm going to have to scan that page. So before I stopped cutting into it, because the effects that had come out were so good, I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want to use it. But that's the whole point. I've been doing it to use on things like this for the journal I'm working on. But yeah, it, it come out so nice that I didn't want to use it. So um, yeah, I'm going to scan that when I go to bed, because my scanner's upstairs. And um, yeah, once I've done that, I'll be able to use it. But I might even do a bit of filming outside tomorrow and um, show you what I'm on about and what I've been doing. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you. And unlike when you go back out into the real world, here, you're all lovely, you know. And I suppose that's why I feel safe because... I'm always here with you guys who do make me feel safe and happy and everything, you know. But yeah, when you go back out in the real world, it's not always like that. So take a leaf out of my silly book, you know, learn from my stupid mistake. Don't let your handbag out your sight, you know, because there's people out there that ain't nice, you know. They're not like us. So, yeah, learn from my mistakes and grab hold of your things, keep hold of them and don't let them go. Because, yeah, you never know who might pinch it, alright? So, thanks for watching. I love you all loads and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.